In this video, we will see how high availability works for scaled applications on OpenShift even when a node suddenly goes down. We, in the earlier examples, we have seen how the scaling works and how uh, multiple instances of an application uh, run as different parts, right? We'll take the same example and we will uh, look at how the high availability works. Uh, first, we'll start with an application that that's going to fail because it's a single instance that is running. So let's look at the same app like before. It has a front-end DB test and uh, the back-end is a database, right? Each has a single part and uh, the, the front-end is running on node 2 and the database is running on node 3, right? And we'll also verify the same thing from the command line. Um, for the front end, we have a single pod that is running for front end. Now, if, and this is running on node two, and let's also look at what I have uh, uh, on the, as set up as nodes. I have uh, three nodes here. The master itself is acting as a node and I have node two and node three. Both are in ready state. That means they are running. So I have uh, node two in, region primary and it is running in zone east and node 3 in region primary zone west right now what we'll try to do and we'll also check to make sure that the application is running i am clicking on this and there is output so the application is running right now <clears throat> let us uh, uh, go back and dial these are these nodes are running on open stack environment so what i'll do is i'll go back and I'll try to bring down this node to see what happens, right? Node two, I'll go and shut down the, shut out the instance, right? Now, as the node is shutting down, if I see this application will definitely fail once the node goes down. And here is 503 the service not available now as there is only there was only one instance of this application running as a single pod when the node on which that pod was running went down there was no choice it went and the service is not available it's obvious right now let's now try to scale up this application but before that i'll uh, start this instance now my pod is up and running and uh, the application is again up and running and let me verify that the node 2 is now back back up and running right and then if i check the number of pods there is a single pod running on node 2 again now let's uh, resize this and scale it up i'm scaling up to four instances and it is resized and now i have a uh, four instances of this application running. So let's verify that. So I have four pods now. Two of these pods are on node three and two of them are on node two. We have seen that before. Now, if we check if the application is running, it is, right? Now let's try to uh, bring knock off a node suddenly. Right? I'll go back and now I'll shut down I'm shutting down node two. Now let's see what happens. I'm trying to check the application as the node is going down. The application continues to run without any issues, even if one of the nodes went down. That's the that's the high availability feature. So OpenShift tries to distribute the parts across the nodes. So if even if one of the nodes goes down, the application continues to run without any issues. Not just that, after a little while, OpenShift auto-corrects itself and it'll make sure that since the replication controller is asked or, or asked to run at least four parts at any point of time, it'll spin up additional parts on the available node in which in this case it is node three to make sure that uh, the number of parts that we have requested are running. So uh, this happens after a couple of minutes. So let's check if it has already happened. Let 
me clear the screen and do it again. So now you can see that since node 2 went down, the replication controller spun up two additional pods on node 3 itself. Now all there are four pods now and all the four pods are running on node 3 because that's the available pod. 